Now, let's create a, an address so that we can send uh, money to that address. In order to do that, we need to use the GSLI. So for example, we are going to use this command GCLI K generate and the type of the encryption is extended and we are going to save that in the receiver secret key so that's, uh, that creates a secret key now let's uh, copy well let's write the command so that that secret key creates a public key so what I'm going to do is, you see, I, I output what is in the secret key file, pipe it to GCLI key to public, so this generates a public key, and I save the output as a public key file. When you do that, it creates a public key. And now, from the public key, I need to create an address. In order to create an address, I do GCLI address account, that's just testing, and then put the receiver public key text in here, and I pipe it to the T command because I want to see the output and also save it to a file called receiver account. So I do that, and look, that's the receiver account, okay. Now that I got the receiver account, I can uh, send uh, monies to it. So in order to do that, I'm going to, if we remember correctly, the bootstrap created for us this script, faucet send money and faucet send certificate. This script still don't have permission to execute. So let's change that. Let's, uh, give uh, them permissions to execute now we can see that they are executable right here e and let's um, yeah let's send some money with um, faucets and money then it asks for the address of the new account that I created that I have up there so I'll type it there and the amount let's send 1000 tokens and there you go now it says success now this is a partial success what it means is that we created a trans uh, send money uh, package and we send it to the API that doesn't mean this is part of the blockchain yet so we need to check if the transaction actually passed in the blockchain to do that, let's uh, check the API message logs. So GCLI REST v0 message logs and the API address. And we can see here that uh, the transaction is still pending. Mm, let's wait 10 seconds and then uh, we will try again. Let's wait another 10 seconds. And now we can see the transaction it's in a block. Here it says, okay. So now let's check the balance of the new address that we have to see 
we should see there the the new balance so in order to do that we again call the gcli rest v0 api account get in the account address that we have in the from the pass which is this one we have it here and the address of the API and you can see here that effectively that new account has the 1000 tokens that we send it now let's check that the balance also got 1000 tokens deducted so we need the um, faucet account number since i don't want to go all the way i'm going just to to cut my initial configuration here i see the faucet account this is awesome and then I can simply use GCLI press B0 account get from that address And you can see here that uh, it got deducted and it actually got deducted more than the 1000 tokens that I that I sent it was 1000 tokens plus 10 so 1010 tokens were deducted from the faucet what happened was that the remember we have to pay the fee the fee that goes to the stake pool and with that we have set up your mongander from source sources we have checked the balance we have created an account we have also uh, sent uh, money from the faucet to another account and we have also checked the balance with this um, i invite you to actually check the code of the bootstrap uh, script and the faucet send money script these scripts are very well documented commented and they will show you all the steps that actually happened in order to create these transactions as usual if you have a question please send it to the github project for the, to the github project that is called Shelly testnet so you go to the Shelly testnet project here you create a new you create an issue you do new issue and uh, for example if it's a bug report you can fill it there if you had a problem with the installation or whatever and a team of volunteers will help you to to solve it thank you very much